Hey everybody, Chris Pettit here with First 15 Live. I am uh, live from Libby's in Madison. I got a uh, small group meeting here this morning for breakfast as we get ready for Thanksgiving, So, uh, which is actually going to be key to kind of what we're talking about today, the Bible's guide for inner healing. Do you need inner healing in your life? Here, here it comes. It's coming to you in just a minute. Well, good morning to everybody who's getting on. If you'll do me a favor, comment, like, and share. And that's what we want you to do. Engage with us this morning in what God wants to do in your life. And um, we're going to share some, some wealth here from the Bible. Uh, one of my favorite verses, a verse I use all the time. And so give everybody just a minute to kind of engage. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe right now uh, because you'll get daily inspirations right there in your email box. So uh, in your inbox there. So do that. If you're on Facebook, like and share, comment. Um, you can comment on YouTube as well. And let's engage. All right, let's dive in. Good morning to all. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, share. And let's talk about inner healing. This is something we all need. We all need inner healing. And so uh, this verse is the most powerful verse on inner healing. And really this whole chapter, the second half of um, James chapter 5. And here's what it says. Uh, verse 16. Confess your sins to each other and pray. So what do we do? We're going to confess and we're going to pray for each other so that you may be what? Healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. And you may have heard this verse, but you need to read it in context because it's not um, just talking about confession. Before that, it talks about actual physical healing, that if you're sick in your body, you need to call for the elders, let them anoint you with oil, right? And then pray for you. Now, that's not a weird, freaky, Pentecostal thing. That's a biblical thing. I'm going to, you know, just get some anointing oil, pray over it, and trust God. Why do we do that? Only because the Bible says. I don't know that there's any value in oil other than the Bible says to do it, so we obey, right? And that's for physical healing. But then he goes on to talk about how you can be um, touched and transformed by the righteous people in your life. And that's not perfect people. That's just people who have allowed, who have taken on the righteousness of Christ. Jesus is our righteousness. And so when we have other believers in our lives and we have somebody we can confess to, we can talk with, and, and, and here's the key about it. It's not just, hey, I got that off my chest. No, no, no. It's somebody who's intimately close enough to us to really be a part of our lives. And so having building those relationships, and that's why small groups are so important. Because you have men or women in your life, you know, if you're women, get involved in a woman's small group. If you're a man, get involved in a men's small group. And uh, a lot of churches now are doing a thing called Freedom Group, which is absolutely amazing. And it's built kind of on this idea that if I can share my deep, dark secrets with other people, God's going to heal me. And that's where some of you have been stuck for so long. You've repented of sin. Um, you've asked God to, to touch you and take away um, things that happened to you in your past. You know, maybe you were hurt or, or molested even or, or, you know, all these different things you were taken advantage of by a boyfriend. Whatever the case is, uh, maybe, maybe somebody said things to you that, that hurt your feelings and labeled you as certain things. And, and, and you've prayed, you've asked God to forgive you. You've asked God, if it was a sin, you've asked God to forgive you. If it, if it was something that was done to you, you've asked God to heal you. The problem is we're asking God to do sometimes things he can't do. I want you to get that. There are some things God cannot do. And the reason he can't do them is because he put in his word a way for you to do it. And you must obey the word. And so God's not going to go back and do something for you that's already prescribed in his word where there's actions on your part. So if you're not doing your part, you tie God's hands. And so you've prayed for forgiveness of sins and you're forgiven, right? But you're not healed because the Bible says, here's how you get healed from those things. You have to confess it. You have to be close to somebody. You have to be connected, right? In the same way it says, you know, if, if, you, if you've gone through something and you've been keeping it secret and you're asking God to take that pain away and heal that dark spot in your life. Well, until you confess, right? Until you confess that and share that with a, a brother or sister in the Lord who can pray for you. The earnest, effective prayer. That's for inner healing. That's for somebody who can say, you know what, I believe in you. I'm going to be praying for you. God's going to bring you through this. And then you'll see transformation in your life. Come on, somebody. That's inner healing. That's the Bible's guide to inner healing. Let him speak to you today. Let God heal you today. How do you do that? Not just in times of prayer with yourself. You need to be in times of prayer with other believers. You need to be in a small group. You need to be connected to people. 
So that's the word for the day. If you got any um, prayer requests, drop them in. And for those of you who are in a small group, here's what I'd love for you to do. Comment in here and encourage, um, encourage the other people by giving your story of how a small group's impacted your life. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for all those who need healing, God, physically and emotionally, inner healing, God. Lord, help us to be people of confession, Father, who trust you and trust your word and follow the ways you've prescribed in your word. And I pray you do that right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Healing in the body, healing in uh, inner healing, God. We pray for um, salvation for our loved ones and friends, God, that you would use us in that process. Uh, Lord, we pray that you bless all those who need financial blessing today, bless marriages today, God. Move in a mighty way in people's kids. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, start your day off right. Recognize that you're a world changer. Look for somebody that you can encourage. Hey, if there's not a small group around you, start a small group. Get some people together. Build that community. Ask God how you can be a part of somebody else's inner healing. Change the world, because that's what you are, a world changer. Come on, baby. First 15 live out. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 6.30 a.m. Love you. Go change the world.